When I was in medical school, I was interested in cardiology and in hematology, but I always did the very best in pediatrics. And I think that's because I have 10 brothers and sisters and I now have over 60 nieces and nephews. And uh, so pediatrics just came naturally to me. My approach to patient care is uh, one that I hope is kind and compassionate. I really believe that the, the old adage that a ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, though that sounds trite. Uh, it's very, very important that that's a philosophy we hold strong to. If I can prevent problems, uh, I'll do that to the best of my abilities. Uh, but there are times when the problem's already there at our doorstep. And so then my next step is to as promptly as possible to provide the best relief that I can, whether that's pain, whether that's sickness, or whether that's problems with development. We have something called the patient portal, and the patient's parents can access my notes and the education that we give them, and hopefully that's very helpful. It's also helpful for parents to be able to look at their child's record and see some of those things that I've discussed during that very time. Probably one of the most important things I think we do is help with developmental parts of a child's life. There's four types of development. There's our gross motor skills, like when we're walking and crawling. There's the fine motor skills when we're scribbling on the wall. Uh, there's our social skills when we're smiling and laughing. There's our skills, verbal skills. And uh, in pediatrics, very carefully, we watch that at these very first visits from their two-day visit, their two-week visit, two month, four months, six month. So that's one of my favorite parts to do, see the children developing properly in those categories. The most rewarding part is, is seeing newborns. It's a joy to me to see an excited, scared, apprehensive new mother and father with their little baby and to be able to reassure them that things are well with their child or to be able to talk with them uh, knowledgeably about some of the problems that are about to come and what we can do about it, what we can do to anticipate it. 